Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I am here still in Motor City in this special underground location because guess what? Buick is bringing some changes to one of their crossover SUVs. What vehicle is it? It's this vehicle right here. This is a 2024 Buick Envision. But before we get into this changed up, refreshed crossover SUV, let's talk about what's going on here. So Buick, they've been around for over a hundred years and it's interesting to see how that history has taken them, especially when you look at the current situation when it comes to crossover SUVs. It seems that what they're planning and working towards is a full renaissance, a rebirth of their lineup. And remember, it's a pretty wide lineup of vehicles. It all starts with the all new Invista, which we brought you here on Rady's Rides. That's gonna be their smallest vehicle. Then of course you have the Encore GX, you have the Envision, and then you have the Enclave. Now for model year 2024, they decided to bring some changes to the outside, but I think what's gonna be even more impressive are the changes that we are going to eventually be able to show you on the inside. So what I wanna find out is, is Buick on the right path to completing this Renaissance? And is this the best new crossover SUV, a compact crossover SUV that you should be buying? Let's go ahead, let's dive into this Envision and find out. Right off the bat, you're gonna see some differences and it all starts at the front end of the business. So what you're finding is, is that from that Buick Wildcat concept vehicle that we actually brought to you from the Detroit Auto Show a couple years ago, you're gonna see some of those design cues, that design language brought into the Envision. So we have that now what's becoming signature style winged daytime running lamp LED with the turn signals up top and then in the lower corners, you're gonna find your double stacked, double stuffed Oreo style LED headlights. And I like the way that in this pod, they did not surround it by a ton of gloss black. It's all nice body color. And what's great is, is that you actually have two new colors for model year 2024. It's gonna be Calypso blue and Amethyst. So nice to have the two new colors in the palette. Now on the lower portion, you're gonna see some shiny chrome bit because remember this is about luxury and it's about having those fine finishes, but the way that they shaped everything is what kind of takes the edge off of Buick being fuddy-duddy. If you look at some of the Buicks from the past, they were a little bland. The new design philosophy and the design language taken from that Wildcat concept car is creating this sporty, vibrant, almost more youthful appearance to their vehicles. Even on the lower portion, how the body color continues, and then you're gonna have that chrome that actually goes all the way across the bottom portion. Now, I think one of the best things that Buick is doing, like a lot of the other General Motors brands, is that they're cutting out the fat. They're creating three trims. You have, of course, your preferred, which is gonna be your entryway into the family. Then you have the ST, which is more of that sporty style setup. And then you have the Avenir, which is you're gonna be your top trim. And that goes with each of the different models that I mentioned coming from Buick. So I like that simplicity to their lineup. Now, when it comes to the front fascia, I see Buick Wildcat. You have the all new updated Buick logo. Such a big piece of this history being finally redesigned it may not sound like a big deal, but it really truly is, especially when you see just how modern and nice and contemporary the style of that badge is. We have this beautiful interlaced front grille, gloss black with the little chrome accents, forward facing camera, and then on the bottom portion, some flat black. Now the good news is all of this is functional and behind the grille, you actually have active shutters that open and close to boost that efficiency. Now, as we rise up, boy, they did a great job with this hood. Instead of it being a very high level hood, like maybe you would find on a Chevrolet product or a GMC, it's got a nice waterfall effect as it drops down into that front fascia. And then you'll see the curves that rise up and give you two great visual reference points. Now, they decided to just like the trims, really simplified the whole buying experience when 
going with the Envision. So underneath the hood, you have a two liter inline four turbocharger engine that's at Ecotech, 228 horsepower. Here's the kicker, standard all wheel drive. And what's great about the all wheel drive, it's a twin clutch setup, which we'll be able to talk more about that when we do the first drive of this changed up Envision. Now, as we come around the bend, I think this is really where you're gonna be blown away with one of the big changes. And literally, it is large and in charge. You have these all new, first time ever, 20 inch wheels on the Envision. I love the way they sculpted each of the spokes, the nice little ornamental design that they put. And like I said, these are gonna be the wheels on the Avenir trim, which is what we're currently looking at. And you will have different wheels for the preferred and definitely for the ST. I think another thing that really stands out to me besides the 20 inch wheel is going to be how they paint all the way around the fender openings. No flat black, no gloss black, just all body color. And that really heightens the whole exterior, especially at the front of the vehicle. And if you're wondering, well, Joe, what's the size of these tires? 245 on the width, 45 series sidewall. So really nice wheel and tire setup. Now, as we rise up, I wanna talk about a little bit about what's going on in the interior. Now we will be able to show you, they're gonna prepare some special footage because this is a pre-production unit like we bring to you first because this is a sneak peek. We're gonna to put together some B-roll footage that Buick is gonna to give to us to really show you the details on the interior. So definitely don't stop the review once we get to the back of the car because we will be showing you inside and talking about it. But the biggest thing I could tell you right off the top, just like we have large wheels, you have all new infotainment and driver display system, a total of 30 inches worth of screen space. So these are big changes that they're trying to bring, not only give you a little bit different appearance, make it a little sportier, a little bit more youthful, but also bring in the technology that people expect to have in their new luxury vehicle. Now coming down the side, you'll notice the body colored on the mirror caps, of course, you're gonna get all of those driver safety technology improvements and new things added. I do like the way they have the clean placement of the Avenir badge right below where that body line flows into the bottom portions of the door. Just a little sprinkling of chrome along the bottom. And remember the Avenir, if you don't like chrome, if you're sitting here and saying, Joe, my great grandfather had chrome on all his Buicks, I hate chrome, it's okay. First of all, just take a deep breath. Second of all, they have other, the two other trims, preferred and definitely ST. ST will be up your alley. And of course, we'll be bringing you that as well. It's fascinating because a lot of people, just like your grandpappy, has a lot of Buick stories. There's actually Buick story about my growing up. Believe it or not, in high school, the driver's ed vehicle that we used and abused to learn how to drive was a Buick. It was a Buick Skylark. And that's been one of the challenges for Buick, remember, is moving away from sedans, Buick Regal, Buick Skylark, and now crossing over and bringing the vehicles that people are really wanting to buy, which are those crossover SUVs. So kind of interesting how Buick has a little soft spot in my heart. And then, of course, uh, I can't ever forget one of my dad's good friends at his shop had a Buick Grand National, which in the 1980s, when that car came out, a car that was actually faster in the quarter mile was the fastest car in the quarter mile sold publicly in the United States. It's faster, believe it or not, than a Corvette at the time. That's what Buick was bringing for that period of time. But nice to see the changes that they're bringing here. You have that bright aluminum style finish on those really low roof rails. Lori will show you up top. You have a nice, large panoramic sunroof, which is great. And then just a little bit of chrome around the window openings. Nothing too overbearing, nothing too nuts. Like I said, of course, this is sitting on all wheel drive with that new twin clutch pack. And then coming around the back, short, stubby roof spoiler. And then the way that they worked the rear of the vehicle, just like up front, love the way they did the LED lighting. There's your Envision badge with the all wheel drive. That new Buick badge, I'm telling you, looks perfect for the 21st century. Of course, this is an Avenir, the top trim. And then going down the ground level, you'll notice how they sculpted the lower 
bumper area, especially when it comes to the LED backup lights, the reverse lights, really slim and trim on that lower portion. Now, like I said, I can't get inside this particular one, but Buick is giving us special unseen footage. So let's go ahead, see the footage that we got from them and talk about what's going on on the interior of this updated Envision. And here is the special footage from Buick. What's kind of nice is, is that they've given me a little extra to show the Envision in motion. And what's cool about it is that this is the ST trim of this compact crossover SUV. I would personally go with the ST trim. I'm digging the red. You can see clearly everything that Lori and I have shown you on the Avenir. You can see just a little bit better in this B footage, uh, B roll footage, because of it being in the sunlight, the way that the front end mimics that Wildcat uh, concept vehicle. And then I really think that with the sportier styling from the concept vehicle, the Wildcat uh, concept vehicle, I think this ST trim is probably going to be the way that I would go. Because remember, with the new 2025 Envision, the refresh, is that you get standard across all the trims, a head-up display and wireless charging. So that's some nice technology on the interior but definitely when you go ST, you can see the gloss black grill, those darker accents, the black wheels really makes it pop nicely with the red exterior finish. And then as you get inside, you're going to see not only different materials, but things like the panoramic sunroof that we have and also different colors on the materials that are nice. I think that's the big thing is that they're kind of moving away just from brown and gray you're getting some other color choices, some uh, blues, some off-whites, some uh, of the different combinations that really make the interior look a little bit more youthful, especially with the new badge. The Buick badge having that new style to it really makes just the whole thing become more modern. And then you're still going to get all the great usability with this being a compact crossover SUV. When it comes to Things like, are you going to have access with your Apple iPhone or your Android phone? You still will have that. Look at, the, look at the way they did the interiors. I love the red on this particular one. I am going to have to zonk that gloss black, though, on the center stack, the center console there. But the new infotainment system, you're looking at 30 inches of infotainment and digital gauge cluster. And if you look closely there, you'll notice that there's not a bunch of division between the two screens, which is nice. It's all unison on the ST trim. They have the embossed ST logo. That's real aluminum metal finish. You got two memory seat settings, and then you're going to have that nice silver drive control knob in the center there on the center console. But having the Google built-in, full built-in accessories into the screen, nice clear graphics, nice clear font, and everything within a fingertip reach is gonna make this very usable. But I know you wanna go for a drive. I wanna go for a drive in this. We will be soon, but let's get back to Detroit and wrap this one up. All right, guys, really cool of Buick to let us have that special footage of the interior before anybody else gets to see it to be able to share with you. Definitely want to thank the whole Buick team for inviting us out to Motor City to get the sneak peek so that we could have that perfectly placed for you on the channel. But let me know what you think. Are you liking the changes that Buick is bringing to the Envision? And remember, like I mentioned at the start of the video, it's not just about the Envision. It's about this renaissance that's taking place at Buick where starting with your entryway, your gateway into the Buick family, this being that Invista that we did the media drive of not too long ago. And if you haven't seen that review, I'll leave it at the end of this one because that's a car right there that is definitely going to surprise you. And then of course, like I said, you still have the Encore GX, which got some refreshes on it. And then you still have the largest of the Buick family currently sold here in the United States, which will be the Enclave. But let me know how you feel about the changes specifically that they brought to 
the Envision, and is this a luxury crossover SUV that you would want to park in your garage? But if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. Of course, we need to thank LG Rady, working that camera like a champ, showing you all the details that you want to see. Show us some love in the comment section. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.